Alright, so in this video we're going to talk about precision and accuracy. And in general, uh, a lot of people tend to use these two terms uh, interchangeably. Um, but in chemistry, they're, they're not the same at all. So suppose I have a dartboard. So imagine this thing is like a dartboard or a target of some sort. And suppose, you know, I throw three darts at it. And suppose one of my darts lands here, uh, one of my darts lands here, and the other one of my darts lands here. So, so these are my poorly drawn darts. Now, although these darts didn't land on the bullseye, these darts are pretty close to one another, and that has to show for something, right? So when we talk about how close the darts are to one another, we're talking about precision. So in chemistry terms, precision refers to how close measurements are to one another. So we're talking about how reproducible the measurements are. Now suppose that I throw only one dart at the dartboard, but this one dart lands right on the bullseye. I mean, it's just right on there. Now we're just talking about how accurate that one throw was. So accuracy, in terms of chemistry, describes how close a measured value is to the true value. So if I measure something, and you want to talk about how accurate that measurement is, we're talking about how close is it to the true value of whatever we're trying to measure. So you, you can have one without the other. You, you can have something that is precise. You can have a series of measurements that is precise but not accurate. And you can also have a series of measurements that is accurate but not precise. So in the dartboard example, uh, this is an example of uh, these three blue darts here. That, that's sort of an example of uh, measurements that are imp uh, precise but not accurate. But then how do, we, how do we determine a series of measurements that is accurate but not precise? Well, suppose if I have, you know, five measurements and they all average out to the true value, but they're very, very imprecise. In other words, my five measurements are, are very far apart from one another, but they, their average just happens to be very, very close to the true value. That would be an example of something that is accurate but imprecise. Obviously, both precision and accuracy are highly important uh, when performing any kind of chemical measurements. But, uh, yeah, the main point is that they are two different definitions uh, altogether, and that's it.